is up, my geek and geekettes? Jay here, and uh, I'm really excited to share with you the unboxing of my Hey Buddy merchandise just arrived this afternoon. First up, we got the Major Tats hoodie. I was really curious to see how this was going to end up looking on the, on the clothes, and it looks awesome. I couldn't be happier. Look at that. Beautiful. And now the uh, classic Hey Buddy T. I decided to go with gray, charcoal gray, because it's a good color to blend with. goes with everything. And now I can happily display the Hey Buddy network symbol across my chest. And last but not least, the, the most excited, uh, the thing I was most excited for is the Hey Buddy hat. And uh, it looks great. I'm a collector of hats. And I couldn't wait to add this one to my collection. And uh, you should run right out and get one too. Well, that's all I got. I can't wait to walk around town and rock out with my Hey Buddy merch out. I'm Jay, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace. So, I don't draw, but I build things. So my wife really wanted a vanity. So, I spent this Sunday trying to make her a little bit happier. Unfortunately, I'm a klutz and broke one of the light bulbs. It might be because I drank about eight, nine beers while doing this. Um, let's see how it turned out. All right, it is Tuesday, July 19th. I am in Victor, New York, and I am heading to the movies with my mother, and we are going to see Black Phone. Come on, man. I saw Elvis open a weekend, baby. You just got home from New York, was there for the last week, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I ordered the Steelbook Blu-ray of Attack of the Clones, which is the worst Star Wars movie, but I needed to have all the all of the Steelbooks for the collection, and I get sent this bullshit. So I gotta hit eBay back up. Thanks a lot. Half price books. Wonderful. Did start out so hot. Looks like another one of my Star Wars steel books. Let's hope this one's right. There we go. Got Revenge of the Sith. Beat up. Real beat up. Real beat up, but I got it. Brian Myers. It's 
since I missed out on these bad boys. He had a paint pen, quote unquote, explode. But I think the signature looks pretty damn good on it myself. Pretty damn cool, man. Got Brian. One down. Very cool. Hell yeah. You hear them playing in the background right now? I finally got, this is, this was expensive. This one's hard to get. Silver Scream, Ice Nine Kills. On translucent bloodshot vinyl. Love this album. Glad I finally have it. And once again, Ice Nine Kills. Every trick in the book. Awesome album. Glad I finally have it on vinyl. So we got the Joker number 15. Can't say anything about that series yet. 15 books in, I haven't read the first one. But I, I'm, I'm, I'll get to it. Batman 125, my ongoing Batmans. Always, you know, great. Amazing Spider-Man number five. I must have ordered this before I realized that it sucks. Not a fan of this. Um, but oh well, pre-order, that's what you get, man. Didn't even realize I ordered this one. I got the Mandalorian number one. Guess I'll check that out. Turns out I got two Mandalorian number ones. This must be for a giveaway in my head. So yeah. I guess coming up, we'll do a, a giveaway for that Mandalorian number one. Spider-Punk number three, another one that I didn't continue with. What are you gonna do? Now this I am, Aftershock, Dogs of London number three. Interesting cover. The first two books are really good, so look forward to that. Same with this one. A little image, Town Called Terror. Very interesting story. Number four. Once again, it turns out I ordered it twice. Wonderful. Okay. We have a couple giveaways, I guess. couple back issues I, I picked up, Baby Teeth, number 14. This was the first Aftershock book I got into. Um, now I'm just trying to get the, the issues I don't have yet. Back issue of Batman that I didn't pick up, number 72. Twice, another giveaway, baby. Then we got this Aftershock book called Blood Blister, number two. I'm pretty sure I ordered number one as well. So I'll have to take a look at that.
Uh, Batman number nine back issue. I guess I didn't have. Which is weird. I thought I had all the early ones. And there's Blood Blister number one from Aftershock. So it looks very weird and interesting right up my alley. Uh, 2016 Aftershock book. So I got the first two of those. And then I reviewed this on Hey Buddy, but I didn't have the special Fuck This Place cover for issue one. So I went back and bought that. Another back issue of Baby Teeth. This one's number 10. I'm gonna run through the whole series here once I, I think I have a couple more books to buy. I'm gonna run through through the whole series and then talk about that on Hey Buddy. Ah. A little Knights of the Fifth Dimension drawn by Walt Flanagan. That's the whole reason I picked this book up. As far as anything else goes, I have no idea what it's about. I don't know if it's even gonna be a, a book for me, but Blue Juice Comics, drawn by Walt Flanagan, have to support that. We got Spawn, 331. I buy every issue of Spawn. Spawn is one of my favorites. Oh, here we go. Loved issue one of this. Can't wait to dive into this issue number two. Bunny Mask, The Hollow Inside. Bunny Mask. Uh, great book and the sequel is fantastic as well so far another aftershock oh here we go I guess two of these came out so I got Tom Paul Terror number three we had four in there earlier I didn't realize that I hadn't read three yet Amazing Spider-Man number four. Once again, gave up on it. What are you gonna do? Got Bloodstained Teeth number three. Image, very good book so far. Fuck this place issue two. Can't wait to, to read that. Uh, they came out this month with this re-release of Spawn number one with the blank cover. Do I need it? No. Um, but you know, Spawn's one of my favorites, so hell with it. Batman Beyond the White Knight, issue four. I don't know if I read three yet, but I did enjoy one and two. Then we got DC versus Vampires Killers. I'm pretty sure this is the only issue I picked up of this one, the first one. Um, we'll give it a shot, right? And then another one I've talked about on the Hey Buddy pod. Another Aftershock book, Naughty List, number three. Santa Santa Claus what can I say his hand looks bloody he's got a weapon in hand he's about to do some damage and I'm loving this book so far so very cool very good mail day how you doing guys reacting I'm right here with my part of the high buddy network videos so i'm at work i'm tired exhausted but let's see what's in the toy section so the ew side is almost looking the same there's a lot of superstar rick flares and bray wyatt's and a lot of uh on rival collection i think it's series seven a lot of pig warmers a lot. Oh, we actually got the ring. Might get that. 
No fucking way. <laughs> no fuck. Yo. I didn't knew we carry ultimate. No fucking way. <laughs> I had no clue we carried ultimate figures. I thought they were only target stuff. So we got two Alexis and two Bray Wyatt's or the Fiend. Should I get both? Should I get one? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. And on the WWE section, there's this. We got the new group, this aggression Batista. We used to have the, we don't have, oh, we have this Ric Flair. We used to have the, it's right here. Oh, there's two Batistas. We used to have the, another Batista. We had the Shawn Michaels and who's the other one? And Brock Lesnar. But remember that we sold out on those. So yeah, not much on this area. So yeah, I'm going back to get that ultimate. Yeah, as in right now, I think I'm only getting this one. Um, I'm shocked. Um, oh, we have Honky Tonk Man over here. He's the only one. And my Bray Wyatt's behind it. But that'll be it for today, guys. Always remember to take care and wave your hair.